I found that everyone thought of me as handsome, as a handsome slacker that relied <laughs> on his looks instead of his brains. It was inconceivable to them that I was a very smart young man and just happened to be good looking. Uh, is that, you know, you're not going to have anyone, you know, shed a tear for you, you know, <laughs> because you're a handsome guy and in some of these pictures as we hopefully were scrolling Back in the through day, right? those. But um, did you find that? Did you find that? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I was handsome, but people didn't respect me. And I, there, there was this yearning of the character in the book anyways, the sense that I, I wanted to make it on my own. I wanted to make a statement. I wanted to be considered relevant above and beyond just, you know, looking good and smiling at a camera. Right. Well, I wanted to be seen as the whole person and not, mm -hmm. not as a two-dimensional. Uh, and as I, got as I got older, actually in a very short period of time, probably uh -huh. from 17 to, to 19, everything changed because I was, went from being really extremely thin to, you know, as, as boys do, you, you gain a yeah. little bit of weight. And that, that changed the dynamic there uh, with pretty much everything. Um, but in the beginning, I didn't mind it, but as it went on and on, it got a little bit old. Where people uh -huh. would just say, you know, you're not here to think. You're, you're not, we didn't ask for your opinion. You're just here to, you know, wear clothes and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was fairly outspoken, you know, right from the beginning.